Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras. Happy birthday to whoever may be celebrating your Libra birthday today. I wish you a year of fun, fantasy, friendships, family, love, and laughter. All right, I hope you have a fantastic day. Let's roll the zodiac die and get started on your daily message. I hope you hear something wonderful for you today. All right, my lovely Libras, you have just rolled Pisces on the left, Capricorn to the right. You've got Taurus up above, and then you've got Libra down there anchoring all of this beautiful energy. I do feel like there's stability, a little bit of daring do, fantasy with the Pisces. Maybe that's why I said that in your uh, birthday wish. Feeling that fantasy, the dreams, the escape from realism. All right, maybe you're going away for your birthday. You know, escaping the day-to-day -day grind. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here for you for your um, daily message. I am going to do a Celtic cross. It is the Toth style, and I am going to do it in my own layout here so that I can fit all the cards visibly on screen. Your overall energy for this <laughs> message is the magician pulling things together, having some fun. This feels really good. You, you're like in the flow. Things are working out. Magical moments. Bliss. Oh, you are just so tuned in right now. And your heart spa space is wide open. You are just so happy right here. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. All right. So let's see what's challenging this. Ooh. Some sort of success. Overcoming some sort of challenge here is your challenge. Interesting. Okay, so... Hmm. The challenge has already been overcome. Oh, maintaining your success. Keeping this goal going. All right, so what I'm hearing is keeping this feeling alive. See how this magician is levitating, whatever, um, controlling the energies here, and your heart is wide open. You're successful. You're happy. You are exactly where you want to be. And that may be the, um, the obstacle or challenge here is to keep that energy flowing. That's good. That's, uh, that's not a bad challenge. Okay, you can't keep positive, happy moments like this lasting forever, but you are like trying to make it last as long as you can. I heard you, um, what do you call it? Sucking it dry, you know, like um, getting every last bit of something um, that you can out of whatever you're doing, whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're thinking, feeling. It is beautiful and you want to hang on to it for as long as you can. All right, let's look at what your is in your head here. What are you thinking logically? What's your waking mind thinking? Three of Pentacles, how to make this work out. Now, it could be about work for some of you. Um, you know, your job, what you've got to do. But I'm feeling how to keep this feeling going. It is beautiful. How to bring others into this energy, too. So that you can continue to be successful. So it must be that for some of you here, you've done something. You overcame a challenge. You accomplished something. You did something. You pulled resources together. I don't know what it is here that's happening in the, in the current energies that you're in. This is upcoming, okay? But you accomplished it. Now you have the need to hang on to it. But whatever you accomplished, it doesn't feel like... It was meant just for you. It was great for you. You're happy about it. You're excited about this. But there's blessings there for other people. Okay? There could be stability. There could be advancement for other people. There's it, This is not just for you. And that's why I feel like this Three of Pentacles may be coming up for you is that you're wanting to perpetuate this and keep figuring out how to make what you have continue forward. 
recognizing that not everything that you're getting is going to be equal. Okay, this one's dripping. This one looks fantastic. This one looks oh, okay. Still a work in progress, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the foundation of this situation is. And please keep in mind, these readings are open to everybody's interpretation, okay? If it's, a, if it's resonating with you in your life, then that makes sense, and that's meant for you, okay? But if it doesn't make sense to you, please don't try to put a size um, six foot in a size five shoe. First of all, that's not going to fit. It's going to hurt. But don't do it the other way either. If you're a size five foot, don't try to put your foot into somebody else's shoe that's a size 10. They've earned that size 10. They've walked that road. They've done those things. Okay, so just be careful. Just uh, don't try to fill somebody else's shoes. Oh, that was not how I thought that was going to come out, but that's exactly what was said. All right, so the foundation of the situation is a need to cut some cords, need to stop the beliefs, need to shut the door on something here. Um, oh, I'm seeing this for the first time ever. This kitten down here is pulling on a string or something else over here. All right, so bringing something in, bringing something better in. Uh, but there is definitely a cord being cut. It's on the last thread. So the, the foundation is a need to let something go. One door closes, so another one opens, okay? This is also um, realizing that maybe what you've got, what you've been working on, the success that you have, is not going to continue forever. You have to let something go so that something better can come in. You're not letting everything go. So it's not like you're leaving a job, you're not leaving a relationship, you're not leaving a friend. You're letting an aspect of that like close out so that something bigger and better can come in. Now there might be a person who does that you find you need to kind of let go, you need to cut the cord with that person so that you can continue to move forward. This person that you're cutting the cord with might be somebody that just you're growing apart. You're not you're on the same page. Either they want to stay where they're at, they don't want to grow, or they may be heading in a totally different direction. So maybe they are more focused on a spiritual life where you're mo more focused on your career right now, or vice versa. Okay, those are just examples. So, and I'm getting if that is the case, that could be more um, a co-worker Moving on from the job, um, it could be a friend that you're no longer spending as much time with, and that's perfectly okay. We outgrow our friends just like we can outgrow spouses. Hopefully, when we outgrow us, when we're growing in our marriages and our commitments, um, especially if there's a piece of paper saying you're committed um, contractually, um, you grow together. Okay, so as both of you grow, you go with each other, supporting each other. A lot of relationships don't know how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what your immediate future looks like here. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have. Immediate future for our lovely, lovely Libras. Let's give them the best outcome here in the near future. What have you got for him, Spirit? The moon. Oh, interesting, especially with this deck. You're, you're definitely feeling confident. You may be holding back your true nature, okay? You might be holding back a little bit of yourself from other people. It could be a fear of what people will think, say, or do, or judge you. But I think for most of you, this is more like a mystery. Like people don't really need to know every aspect of you. The more, you know, when you let things come out a little bit at a time, um, it's exciting to those around you and yourself. It's like exploration. Um, what I am seeing here, though, is that you do have a much bigger persona okay under the surface under the surface 
Now, I'm kind of curious here as to why the witch is flying in front of the moon. Is there, like, are you possibly setting up, sending up a smoke screen here? Is there a possible distraction here? I mean, it's not every day we see a moon, a, a, a witch flying on her broomstick in front of the moon, okay? That could be an indication of Halloween, Samheim, uh, Sawain, I guess is how you actually say it. Um, so there could be something here. There could be something about timing here. It could also be that somebody may be pushing you a little bit. And you're, you're tamping down your natural side. Take that only as it resonates for you. But your immediate future looks like there is a lot going on here. Um, it's going to be different for each of you. You One person may have everything that was just talked about happen in your, in your near future. Others of you, you may experience a distraction. You may feel like you want to hold back a little bit, okay? Um, and just be a little bit mysterious. All right, let's go ahead and see what the past influences were here in this message. I'm hearing that song moving on up to that. Something in the sky. Woohoo! The past influences here was the sun. Happy times, good times. See, the energy right here at the very beginning of your uh, reading. You're trying to hold on to that feeling, that sense of clarity of happiness of joy of feeling the connection feeling the loyalty and trust so you want you're wanting to expound on that you're wanting to build on that energy <laughs> i just did a squirrel pitter patter over my head all right let's go ahead and see what else we have here for you how do you view yourself uh, handling this situation, dealing with this, expressing this situation. How do you feel? How do you see yourself? Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, you're keeping quiet again. This one here, um, you are definitely trying to um, keep distractions to a minimum. You may be keeping some information to yourself until you have a chance to speak with a particular person. Yeah, again, I'm getting an air of mystery, but an air of also needing to keep things to yourself at this time until you do speak to somebody. But I do feel like you've got a plan. You know what you're doing. Um, you've got a dark blue cloak on here, and that is the color of trust. Okay, so I, I really do feel like there is trust here. There is not deception other than, and it's not deception. It's not deception. You are just keeping quiet. Okay, you're very well aware of what the situation is. You want to possibly speak to somebody privately, and you're trying to keep some distractions to a minimum. That could be having to do with this person over here at work. Or a friend that you may have outgrown, you know, you're going different roads, parting of the ways. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in your environment. That should give us a little bit more information. Ah, the ten, oops. The Six of Cups. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so there is friendship here. There's happiness here. There is joy here. You've got the Six of Cups here and you've got the Six of Wands over here anchoring this death and the sun. And boy, do I feel like that sun card is saying that this is that rebirth. That door opening up clarity, happiness, joy. Interesting energies here. I'm also feeling like this Seven of Swords down here, this person, looks like they could be the witch on their broomstick here, landed and now um, going through the library. So a place of wisdom, a place of knowledge. Uh, I, I'm getting like passing through. Like this is, uh, I'm not really here, folks. I'm not here to disrupt anything don't mind me um 
again, I'm not getting deception. I'm just getting privacy, a need to minimize distractions, not getting involved in other people's things, not letting people drag things out of you that is none of their business. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have here. So with the Six of Cups, I feel like there's friendship, there's loyalty, there's trust. There may even be some sort of gift here for you. Uh, you know, a token, a token of appreciation, a token of your time, of your friendship, your relationship. It, it just feels good. It feels nice and peaceful. Okay, now I'm also seeing here somebody around you, maybe somebody younger or less mature than uh, you would expect, maybe trying to uh, claim what is yours. Like you're being given something, but somebody else may be like, well, wait a minute, where's mine? Or um, hang on a minute, uh, that's mine. Okay, so trying to claim something that's actually yours. But you have nothing to worry about, and you may not even notice this. You may not even pay any attention to it because you're so happy and grateful for what you're receiving. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Let's see what else the Spirit is going to bring out for you. My lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans. What is coming out next? The Page of Pentacles, a flipping of the coin, a taking, um, a, a chance. <laughs> what I just heard was, yeah, I'll flip the coin, and if I don't like it, I'll just flip it until I get the answer that I want. Oh, well, that's not really how you play the game. <laughs> but we each get to make up our own rules in certain aspects, of, especially if it's our own life. That's, that's just not going to get you anywhere, though. You're going to just go do what you want to do, which means you're forcing something to happen, and that's not going to work out for you. Okay, because the more we try to force or control something, the further we push that away from us. It's just the natural order of the law of attraction. All right, so you, some of you are taking a chance, ready to flip a coin. Maybe you're, you're dreaming of this, okay? Wanting to travel, wanting to move on. It could be you're consulting some sort of You could be getting a tarot reading, I guess. Um, you could be... I'm getting, like, knowledge here, though. Um, more like books, okay? Knowledge through books, through... I keep hearing paper, and I keep seeing the map, and the map is a map. It's paper, but it's not a book. So I don't know why I keep getting books, except that you're here with a strategy. All right, so this is your subconscious at work here, wanting to flip the coin and go in whatever direction spirit gives you. Let's let's put it that way. It could be travel. It could be um, going back to school, learning something more, taking a chance on yourself or somebody else. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what the most likely outcome for this message is going to be. What is the most likely outcome going to be for this message? The Six of Wands, you've got Six of six of Swords, Mero, excuse me, that was a slight rewind. Six of Wands, Six of Cups, and now you've got the Six of Swords. So life is going to be getting easier. Something is going to move out quietly. Again, quietly, um, silently, no distractions, everything's in place. And look, we have the full moon again here. Now we also have autumn leaves. So I'm getting, this is the fall harvest um, or the Halloween moon, you know, when things have really changed. This felt like the, the moon we just had, the super moon we had on the 20, oh, what was it, on the 17th, okay? And this feels like the, like a Halloween moon, the, the big one. I'm trying to, I'm hearing something, but I'm not getting it. I'm missing something. I apologize. If it comes to me, I will let it, I will let you know. But life is going to become easier. Um, 
Okay, it's something to do with the changing of the season seasons, but it's more like changing of an attitude, a change of control, letting go, just letting go and letting it, you know, blow away like the leaves are blowing here. Like just going with the flow and letting it be, but you're also helping. Notice there's two other people here on your broomstick. So you are helping others. It's not just for yourself. Whatever this is, it is going to be um, easier moving forward, especially if you're releasing some sort of control of a situation. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. Balance comes in. Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And your happiness comes in. All right. So And that's 11 pen. Oh, that's nine cups and two Pentacles. All right, but that's an 11, so there's a portal, an opportunity, a door opening, information coming in, six of swords again, okay? You got the page of swords plus the five of swords, putting a burden down, but about to rise again. Look, you're about to get on that broom and go forth. All right, two of cups showing there. So balance is coming in here for you. After this, things get easier. Whatever's going on here, cord cutting, success that you may need to hang on to, a feeling you want to hang on to, continuing in the energy you're in. You may need to eliminate any distractions. You've been here before is what I'm hearing with that sun card and the six of cups together. You've been in this energy before, and this time you're determined to kind of hang on to it. You're not going to talk about it. You're, you're going to eliminate the distractions. You're only going to focus. And this person's actually looking at the two swords in the background there. You're only going to focus on what needs to be said, what needs to be done. And you are going to take action because you're moving in this card. All right. I absolutely love this. So things are going to work out nice. I'm, I'm getting with the Six of Swords a time frame. So between the, the moon, the, the super moon we just had on the 17th with that lunar eclipse to the full moon, which is on October 17th, all right? And that will be um, in Aries. Looks like it'll be an Aries. So a daring do energy, a willingness to try something. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. All right. So, yeah, that's the second quarter moon uh, in Aries. Full moon is at 726 a.m. So you may be able to visibly see it. And, and if, mm -hmm. All right. So there's good things coming here. There's definitely something good coming to you here. All right. If this is your message, don't forget to tickle tap, boop, or zap the like button. Claim it in the comments. And please feel free to share these messages. Um, and thank you to Carla for sharing with all of her friends. That was unexpected. And uh, I'm grateful. I'm stunned. I don't even know what to say. So thank you. All right, uh, we have boat here. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or a windfall. So look, we've got a boat sailing away. Things are easier, okay? It could be money is coming to you. And look, we have another water image here. We have water in the distance here, it looks like, with the Six of Swords. We have water with a boat. We have water with the Six of Cups. We have water in the background with the two of pentacles. And now you have the dolphin, financial gain. And this almost always comes from something that you did in the past, okay? And dolphins are meant to be fun. So you may have lightened the mood for somebody. You may have um, let the sun set on an argument. We have a great big sun in the background here. And actually, the sun is above. Oh, these are waves. I was going to say, it looks like the dolphin is leaping through clouds, which are fan would be fantasy. It would be dreaming, okay? So take that as it resonates. Let's get you a spirit animal message here. This is definitely a different message, and I am, I will admit, there's so much being uh, 
given to me. I'm I'm like stuttering here, trying to figure it all out. All right, so we have snow, leopard, self-reliance. You are strongly independent, my Libras, and you're often on your own. Integrity is important for your best income. You know, that Queen of Swords energy. So cloak yourself with invisibility. Look, the Seven of Swords. I told you, it's not sneakiness. It's just keeping yourself out of the... Um, out of the drama, okay? So cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans, the wise ones, the ones who have the right information, the ones who know how to be peaceful, all right? Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. There is absolute confirmation for you. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're going to get you a large spirit animal card too. Well, that one didn't want to go back in. And we have Otter Spirit yet again. Card 42, which is another six. So you have four sixes on the table here, okay? Four sixes. You have, it says you are never alone. Never, ever alone. Keep that in mind. Let's see what the book says about Otter Spirit. 42. Now the book opened up to Scarab Beetle. Magic works through you. Let's see what 42, Otter Spirit. You get this one quite a bit, Libras. Or you have been anyways for the last few months. All right, so like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we are never really alone and that we are always cherished. Otter Spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactile way. Communicate with your voice, your facial expressions, your gestures, and your actions, letting your love express itself beyond just the words that you speak. Otter Spirit's message is that presence matters, so remember to be fully present with those you care about helping them sense the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is a time for a joyful celebration of the love in your life that expresses as friendship and companionship. Hug someone, touch their arm, or simply look into their eyes with your full attention, saying, I care. You matter. And you don't have to say those things out loud. You're expressing those by looking them in the eye and just listening to them. Make time for friendship. Otter Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love you and care about you. And you are never alone. And you are always, always loved. Now I am being asked to read you the protection message, which says, Have you been channeling all of your affection to just one person? Or counting on only one friend or individual to hold you up? heedless of your resources all around you? Ooh. You deserve support and love from many people. And when Otter Spirit arrives, you are reminded that you have a community. You are my community, and I appreciate each and every one of you for all of your love and support. And you do make me feel loved. All right, continuing on. Somewhere is another friend who wants to experience the joy of giving to you and seeing your happiness as you receive their gift of attention, affection, and kindness. Outer Spirit wants you to open your eyes to see the love that is available to you from all directions. Do you believe it? Can you feel it? Reach out to someone and you will see that they want to hold your hand as much as you want to hold theirs. Love, support, and friendship are available to you. So connect with your community and your friends. All right. I love, love, love that message for you. All right, my loves, my lovely, lovely Libras. Anyone celebrating a birthday today? Happy, happy birthday. I hope you have an awesome day. If uh, you would do me the kindness of giving this message a thumbs up, dropping a comment, sharing this with somebody, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Keep in mind, it is Libra season. And if you're new here, I do have 
a YouTube special running right now. Go to my community post on my channel and look for the free five reading giveaway information. If you are a Libra and you have not yet signed up for my website email list, so many of you have done this. Please only only sign up under one name. Don't come in and do like different things. That doesn't help me because I end up paying for each um, person over the original, okay? Um, but there's a special deal um, for you if you are on my mailing list, which is my monthly blog comes out on the first of every month. Last night, I think I got it set up so that you should be able to receive the special as soon as you sign up, okay? You should get a welcome letter and the it's going to have the special that I'm running for Libra season in there. All right, my loves, I don't want to hold you up any longer. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you're interested in a personal reading and you're not a Libra, please email me and I will uh, send you all the details. Otherwise, get your special. It's a super awesome deal. And it is filling up, so make sure you get your name on my calendar. All right, payment, then send your questions over. All right, love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.